So I'm going to show you guys how to make a journal like this, the home uh, homemade journal. Um, I'm not going to show you how to paint these pages because I didn't record them when I did. But these are a couple pages in my homemade journal. This journal I made from a cereal box and some Ganson um, 140 pound watercolor paper, 9 by 12. But today I'm going to show you how to make a journal like this one um, using a cereal box and a brown paper bag. So what you'll need is just a um, plain old cereal box, one standard size brown paper bag, and some scissors, a hammer, a block of wood, um, a needle with a really big eye in it. I guess they call it a yarn needle. And it'll have a blunt end. I just got these off of Amazon. And also some of this um, like twine. It's a little bit thicker than embroidery floss. I'm not really sure what it is. So let's get started here. So to prepare your cereal box, we just, of course, the top's already opened, so we're going to open the bottom the same way. Just slide your finger through and release the glue on it. And then what I do is I look down inside for the factory seam, which is here, and I simply give it a little lift there at the seam and um, slide my finger through it to release the seam. Sometimes it works a little easier than other times. And of course, since I'm on camera, it's not working so easily, but there we go. Okay, so this will become the cover of the magazine. And for the brown paper bag, the same sort of thing. Just simply lift up the corner and slide your finger through and release the glue. And same on this side. <laughs> uh, so much easier to do off camera but let's let's try this oh my goodness seriously okay so there is that side opened and so we're going to do that to all four corners on this side Get right on in there and open that up. So now we just have to open this little seam here at the bottom. Okay. And again, slide your finger through. So the bottom of it is completely open now. And we're going to do the same thing on the back where the seam is. Just kind of rip that open a little bit and hold on to the end of it and just slide your finger all the way through until you get to the end. Now we have our bag opened up. So we'll just fold this in half. Actually, we won't fold it completely in half. We'll fold it right to this um, the seam line right here. Okay. And we'll make sure that we get it lined up pretty nice. Actually, we will. We'll fold it right in half. How about that? That'll give us a little bit bigger page. So get these edges lined up here, the top corners, and then 
Just kind of give it a little pinch down here to make a nice crease, making sure that your um, the top of it stays lined up too. And we'll do that the whole way across. Trying to get a nice straight seam here. Okay. All the way over here. All right. And then what we'll do is we'll fold the bag in half. Like so, and match up the ends of the paper again. All right. And crease your seams again. And then what we want to do is fold our bag here. I <laughs> This is doing it to me again this time, but I think um, we need to turn it like this for you to see what I'm doing. So we're just going to fold it up here because we want to fold this in thirds. So we have a couple pages to, to paint on and collage on. And you might have to work with this a little bit to get it just right. I'm going to move mine up just a little bit more. And maybe put it there and back here. So I think, um, to show you what I've done, to keep um, the pages even, what you're going to want to do is take this seam and fold it even with your first seam. And then that should make it into thirds pretty nicely. Okay, so again on this side, we're doing the same thing, we'll fold this seam to here, take this and fold it right into there, and we can fold it backwards like this. And that gives us sort of an accordion now. And um, once we have that all done, what we'll do is we want to keep these seams. Because this is where we'll be binding our book together. So we want to keep these three here on top. And we'll just take our scissors and cut here. Now if you have a paper cutter, go ahead and use that because that's going to be a lot easier for you. And actually for me too. But for right now, we'll just use scissors. And then we also want to cut the seam at the bottom so um, we have multiple pages and you can flip through the pages easily so we'll just cut along here and along this one keeping that sort of straight and everything doesn't have to be perfect because this is a recycled journal. And it's fun for kids to work in. And it's actually fun for adults to work in too. So, okay, we'll just lay all our seams together like I did. Okay. Nice and neat like that. And then we're going to take our cereal box 
and just kind of fold it in half like this and that's going to be the front and back cover. So for right now, we'll fold it inside out and get everything, get our seam lined up here, get our book lined up, the cereal box, get that all lined up where we want it. Keeping everything nice and even. And what I'm going to do, this, this cereal box uh, worked out pretty nicely. We're going to leave this little bit of a, maybe like a half inch seam along the sides and we'll cut every, we'll cut these sides off here. That will give us a cover that's a little bit larger than the pages themselves. So we'll just cut along here. And then also we'll do the same thing in the front and we'll just um, divide the difference that way it'll give us the same amount of seam on the sides as it does on the bottom so just cut right along here you can take a ruler and make a line if you want to but I'm just kind of eyeballing this for the sake of the video not being too lengthy just cut right up there okay so now that we have that it's going pretty quickly we'll take our block of wood our needle and some of this thread <clears throat> probably like two and a half times the the length of your journal and again I'm not going to measure I cut it off just a little you know a little bit longer we can always cut it off in the end so we'll thread that through and then we'll make a knot and I just do this to make a knot put it between my fingers and roll it and then give it a little tug and that makes a quick easy knot okay so the next thing we want to do, of course, is get our holes in here so we can get this journal bound together. And I'm just making sure that I have a nice firm seam in the back. And again, if you want, you can measure. I'm not going to for the sake of making the video. You can measure and make sure all this is exactly perfect. But I'm just going to eyeball it. And then I'll put a little hole in the center here with my hammer. Just give it a couple little wax, being sure that you made it through all of the pages and um, the cereal box. And we'll put the center one and then three down from there. I'm trying to make sure that my pages don't shift too much while I'm doing this so that they line back up when I go to to sew it. Okay so we have that one in the middle there. I'm just gonna double check to make sure everything's lined up. And another little hole here. And another one here. And one more down here. Okay, now that that's done, just want you to take your threaded needle and go in from behind. You can see the hole that I'm going through and go through all of your pages. And then just pull that tight. Oops. 
don't want a knot on there and then pull that tight not too tight you don't want your knot coming through and then back through here the next hole and you might want to flip it over and find this one which is the very next hole it's just like sewing anything so we're going to push that through and back through here and pull it just just snug and again back through the back through your pages sometimes they're hard to find so you might have to lift um, the pages out of the way a little bit and then feel around for the holes like I'm doing here and what's really nice about this is you can make a journal for a practically no cost at all and kids just love filling these up with um, clippings from magazines and you can use paint and paint markers stamps whatever you whatever they want to use stickers so it's a lot of fun and again it's cheap easy and recycled so how cool is that all right so now that we've made it the whole way through the journal one time sewing up the seams what we want to do now is from here we're just going to go right back into this hole and this will help hold it really nice and tight and then again from here we're going to go into this hole and pull it tight but not so tight that you you know rip a hole in your in your cover and then back through again I'll flip it over, go through here, I'll flip it over again. You guys are probably getting dizzy with all me flipping this journal over like every two minutes. Okay, so and then back through here. Oops, it's kind of caught on my corner. And back through here, you can get around your knot. Oh, let's see. Now I have a little mess in the back. That is easy to fix. So we'll pull that tight and go back through this one one more time. Okay, so now that we're at the back, what I like to do is just kind of go under. Um, that stitch and around the ball of your knot and then back up through here this will help hold the knot really well and then we'll go back through all of them and back through here and again hold on to your knot and just pull that I hope you guys could see what I'm doing I'll do it again just to make sure so you go under that stitch and up through your loop hold on to your knot and just pull that really tight and that'll make you a very nice knot there on the end okay so that's all there is to it for um, making this journal unless you want to you know check your pages and you might want to trim them or you can just leave it the way it is I'm going to cut this little notch off from the top of the bag right here. And some of these pages will have little tears in them from, you know, opening the bag up. And that's not a big deal because what you can do is use a lot of clip art or um, cuttings from magazines. And when you put your clip art on there, um, 
you can cover up some of those, you know, some of those little cut holes or whatever you want. And I usually use, uh, where is it? My gel medium here to, to glue things down. And if you want, you can also use Mod Podge as soon as I find that. Well, here's my, um, here's my Mod Podge. So you can use this too, to glue clippings down, art clippings, magazines. And for the front cover, um, what I did on my other one was I used this decorative craft paper, cardstock, whatever it is, and I covered my book with it. If I have enough time, I'll show you how to do that real quick. Let's see. So you can just take a page out of here, say something like this. And um, cover your book with it. You might need a couple pages. And then just Mod Podge that cover on. And um, if it's not big enough, what I did on this one was I covered part of it, part of my book, with one page up to there. And then what I did is I used another piece of paper and covered the back seam from here to here so that I could get the whole thing covered. And what that also does is it covers up your binding string in the middle too. So just another little peek at, at the journal that I made. Again, this one was done with um, Ganson paper, 140 pound weight mixed media. And you can just get that, you know, at Walmart or wherever you want. But I thought it would be nice to show one made with brown paper bag. You don't really have to buy anything. I mean, if you if you do any kind of crafting at all, just you can just use simple craft paints, um, Picasso pens, st stamps, all all sorts of things. So. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more, give me a like below and subscribe to my channel. And I'm Clover Moon Designs on all social media. So if you want to look me up, that's the name. Thanks.